So we're looking at this, what we call the generosity ladder here, and it's to help us see how, how God can help us move one step at a time from financial stress and worry about whatever income we've got or whatever expenditures we might have and whatever our needs are to the place of financial peace that he has designed for us to be able to live in. And we've seen that the first step is just to give something, to be open-handed, not to be closed-fisted. It's a step in the right direction, but it's not the place where we stay. The next step after that is to make a regular gift. Something that you've thought about, something that you've prayed through. Uh, and regularly to be able to give to the, the concerns that matter to you, because God's spoken to them about them, to give back out of the 100% that God gave you, a percentage that is proportionate. And, and not as a, a as a guideline for us, not as a law anymore under the New Testament, but as a guideline, and certainly not as a cap. For some people it'll be a stretch, but for other people this will be a, 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 just okay for you to be able to do. But to, the Bible would talk about a tithe that is given on a regular basis. I encourage you to do your own study with, with an open heart of the Bible yourself about what it says about the tithe. In Malachi chapter 3, God is talking to the people and he's saying, you know what really hurts me? When you come and you give me a gift, you kind of look for the, the least that you can give and you, you kind of think, what's the leftovers that I, that I can give? And he said, you know, you wouldn't give that to your, the king, you wouldn't give that to your boss, but you think it's all right to be able to give that to me. And then he goes on to say, you know, when you do that, when, you, when you're not withholding from me, when you're not giving me the first and the best, he says, what happens is it's like you're robbing me. You're robbing me of the tithes and the offerings and the things that ultimately uh, that I want to bless you. And if you, if you gave back to me out of, out of what I've given to you like that, then he says, actually, I'd open up the storehouses of heaven above you and pour out such blessing upon you, it could never be contained. He said, and then he says something incredible. He says, test me in this. It's like, give this a go and see if I don't bless you. See if I don't out bless you as you are generous towards me. And a tithe means... A tenth. It means one out of ten. It doesn't mean two percent. It doesn't mean fifty percent. It doesn't mean seventy-five percent goes back to God. You know, God says this in Proverbs chapter three: "Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits." That means the best, the first of all your increase, so that your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow. In other words, giving leftovers doesn't honor God. He wants us to give our best. He gave his best for us. He gave his all for us. And, and tithing is a way of me saying to God, I want to give you first and best. And I can't fully explain how it works, but I can tell you, I've certainly seen in my own life that tithing attracts God's blessing in an incredible way. So if people ask me whether or not they, they should tithe or they might argue the toss, here's what I'll say. Well, try it. Just give it a try. Why not try it this year? Why not give it a go? God says you can test him in this. And, and why not aim when you're giving at tithing? Uh, just aim towards that from wherever you're at. And start to regularly give and, and see if that can grow. And giving the first 10% of your income back to God. For years, personally, as I've looked at it, I've looked at that verse and it says, bring it into the storehouse. And for me, that's meant the local church. I've never regretted taking that decision to tithe into the local church. But you pray. You do what God says, un not under any kind of compulsion. Giving back regularly and generously to God. Uh, aiming perhaps at a tithe, unless it's going to push you into some kind of debt, in which we case don't do that at all. But this is the next step on the ladder of generosity.